5 Symptoms of a Bent Connecting Rod in Your Engine 1. Low Compression If the connecting rod is slightly bent, you may be able to drive on it without too much of an issue. However, the cylinder with the bent rod will probably have lower compression than the others. If you're worried about the possibility of a bent rod, you could start by getting a compression test. If your compression numbers are within about 10% of each other across all cylinders, your rods are probably fine. Do note that you may experience low compression for a number of reasons. After an unsatisfactory compression test, consider performing a leak down test to help you narrow down the possibilities. 2. Engine knocking sounds, rod knock. When your engine is turned on and running, you may hear a knocking sound coming from it. This will be a repeated knocking sound that gets faster as your engine speed increases. This is colloquially referred to as, rod knock. The sounds may go away after a short while. Once your oil has a chance to circulate through the engine components and lubricate them. 3. Low oil or oil pressure. If you have a bad or failing connecting rod, your engine will probably lose a whole lot of oil very suddenly, which would have devastating effects on your engine's oil pressure. There may be an oil pressure gauge on your engine which will tell you when it has low oil pressure. You likely have a warning light on your dashboard that will tell you as well. If you have low oil pressure, then it means oil isn't circulating well through the engine. This might lead to an overheated engine if the problem is not resolved quickly. And you will experience drastically more wear and tear on the engine because it won't be lubricated properly. 4. Visibly bent or damaged rod. If you suspect that you have a bent or damaged connecting rod, based on the other symptoms which may be present, then you need to visually inspect the rod yourself to see what its condition is. This would require your engine to be disassembled, which is a job that only an experienced mechanic should do. 5. Seized engine. A thrown rod is likely to stall and seize the entire engine. You will know the engine is seized because you can't turn it over by hand, using a wrench on the crankshaft pulley bolt. Even an engine that won't start or crank should turn over by hand in this manner. Chances are if you threw a rod, you'll know it. A thrown rod is often accompanied with a loud bang and metal flying out of the engine bay. You may notice a huge puddle of oil under the car, and even a big hole in the block after this happens.